Hello guys, this is a video to show you how to download all Slack conversation from public channels on a workspace. So as you see, I got two projects. Let's start with the first one. Um, by using the uh, Slack API web client um, connector, you can invoke any public method uh, that they're available uh, on Slack. And in this case, you can see I'm, I'm looking for the conversation history. We're given a channel ID. I can download a bunch of, of messages uh, from, from Slack. And um, this block in particular, when uh, it gets executed, it downloads the, uh, the data back as a JSON. Uh, then what I do, I connect this block to a JSON normalize uh, um, routine, which will do, it will flatten the JSON into a, into a table. So as you can see, uh, those are the, the messages uh, that have been uh, posted on, on the channel in question. So this workflow here, um, in this part, um, in the option, you can see that this query params here where we specified the channel ID has been linked to a project parameter. So a project parameter allows to um, parameterize the workflow execution. In this um, workflow in particular, you see that I have two, uh, um, two of them defined. One is the, uh, the one we'll use it for the um, API a request uh, to Slack, and it's called channel param. And the other one, uh, just a convenient uh, channel name. If you were to execute this uh, workflow, what it'll do, it'll download all the uh, messages for that public channel. I'm also applying some field organizer rule just to keep three uh, fields, the timestamp, the user, and the text. And then what it does, it will um, output the uh, the table to an IOD file in, uh, in append mode. Um, now, let's go to the following workflow. Let's say the one where you control the uh, workflow execution and uh, use a for each block to uh, invoke uh, you know, this workflow with different parameters and in, in a for loop. So what I'm doing first, again with, again, with the same Slack API web client, I'm using a different method in this, this case called conversations list that uh, basically gives me uh, the uh, the names of of the uh, the public um, channels that are on that workflow. And again, I'm using this JSON normalized block that allows me to flatten the JSON response into a, a nice table from which I can see these are the uh, the publicly uh, available channel on the, our Visogi Omniscope Slack workspace. And then I'm using a bunch of, uh, well, I'm renaming the, the original field, and I'm using a, uh, a simple formula to build a, see, the JSON object that could be uh, used as a param to this um, Slack API request. So it's basically composing channel plus the, the channel ID here. Now, uh, I'm also filtering out uh, some, some of the channels. I just want to concentrate on, on two of them. Uh, and then the for each block. To add the for each block, like this Slack like API one, you find it in the community section here. This for each block allows you to first specify the uh, URL uh, of a workflow that you want to execute for each record of the input data connected to this block here. So if the input data here is this record field and it's got two rows, it means that for each block will execute this workflow for each of these two uh, you know, uh, values that we've seen there, by setting upon execution two parameters that we've uh, um, you know, I've specified here, at the condition that the name of the fields that I'm picking here yeah, must match the name of the parameters that we set into the into main workflow. And the other bit to, uh, to set is the name of the block that you want to execute. In this case, it's an output block. And what type of execution? In this case, it's refresh from source, meaning that uh, once this execution is triggered, the output block will be executed starting from, uh, from the sources. Now, if I were to then hit play here, this, say, um, workflow will control the execution on the other one. And what's happening is that for each of the input data that we see in there, so for each channel, is downloading this Slack conversation. This block here has been set up uh, you know, in append mode. And um, one thing to note also um, is that this field organizer, I've um, added a field 
so that every time new data gets appended, we also know what channel yeah, the data, uh, uh, what these conversations um, are about. Yeah, so that's how you execute a parameterized workflow execution into a for each um, loop. Of course, one thing you can do later is that uh, you can connect the a report block to the uh, you know to the data that you've uh, um, downloaded from Slack to do further exploration. In this case, for instance, I'm plotting uh, all the messages on on these channels, colored by user. Uh, the time is on the y-axis. If I select those, I get the list of, of the messages that have been sent. All right. So that was the uh, the demo. Thank you for watching, guys. Bye-bye.